If you feel like creating outfits is something that you struggle with and you're always trying to figure out why an outfit is not working, stay tuned. I'm going to share something I call the rule of opposites and how it can fix any broken outfit in your wardrobe. Hey, this is Nada. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for everything I do here is to help you build that wardrobe that gets you out the door in record time, feeling beautiful, feeling stylish, feeling confident, feeling all the things, and to just build a wardrobe that works for you, for your life, for your body, for your personal style, for all of the things. And as one of the ways I do that is through my Angel Style program. So if you're interested in getting like support from me, um, body type analysis and color and all of the things, as well as a community of women who are working on their style together. It's really the, I, just last night we did a Zoom call with, with my Angel Style program members and one of the women said, I don't know how it's possible, but every single woman in this program is so nice and so supportive and so kind. And I was like, well, like attracts like. You guys are wonderful people and you attract other wonderful people. So shout out to the women in my Angel Style program. We really do have the best and most supportive community where you get honest feedback about what you post, but it's always delivered with love. That's the goal of everything we do. So. Um, one of the things that we were talking and we talked about often is styling outfits and putting together outfits and how to take a, an outfit from eh, to beautiful and stylish and pulled together and polished and all the things that we want, right? Now, I'm going to pretend for a second, bear with me, I'm going to pretend that I'm a chef. I'm not a chef. I'm a recipe follower. I'm a home cook that usually undersalts things and often burns things. So keep in mind, no expert in cooking here. But one of the things I remember hearing about Thai food is that the goal of Thai food is that you get spicy, salty, sour, and sweet in each dish. So there's a balance, right? There's a balance of flavors and, and a really trained palate, not my palate, but a really trained palate, a really trained chef can taste something and be like, ooh, it needs a little salty, it needs a little sour, it needs a little sweet. Um, I taste it and I'm like, oh, I think it's good. I think it's fine. Um, but when it comes to styling, I can look at an outfit the way that a chef will look at a dish or a recipe. I can see what it's missing and consider adding an element or, or something to it that is going to complete it and round out the flavors of the outfit. If you just, I'm just gonna work this analogy into the ground. Like I'm just gonna, I will not let that analogy go. So it really does um, function the same way in that we're looking for a balance to create something that that is ultimately pleasing. Now, I'm just going to say that in the same way that food, they're all sweet things like ice cream and all sour things like lemons, and they're both awesome. Um, you can you can like have unbalanced outfits that are also awesome. And by unbalanced, I mean they're 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 very focused and more one note outfits that still really, really work. For example, you can do an all minimalist, all neutral outfit and still have it be extremely chic, and it's a look a lot of women prefer and love, have it be very, very chic and very elevated and very interesting and very elegant because that outfit is put together really well. But it's still a neutral, minimalist outfit, right? But the details in it make it work and make it kind of come to life. Um, you could also have an all maximalist outfit and still have it be very chic and polished and pulled together and cool and hip and effortless and whatever it is, those adjectives that you want to describe your personal style. You can have a maximalist outfit that with no nod to minimalism no nod to neutrals, no basics to ground it, no staples, no essentials, no nothing, and still have it come together like a song and just be a masterpiece. Um, so this is not a rule, and these are not rules. These are are offering you different ways and maybe a little mental checklist to run through when you're putting together an outfit that can help you see what might be missing from an outfit if you if you feel like something is missing. So that's one of the things I always wanna share. I'm not sharing an excessive amount of information to overwhelm you. If it's not broken, don't fix it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Instead, I want you to use these um, this guide, these this checklist, these guidelines. It's a way to like figure out what might not be working in an outfit when something isn't working. When you're like, oh, this is a little boring, or this is a little over the top, or this is a little fill in the blank. These are things that might help you um, balance out an outfit and make it work. Make it make it work for you. Make it visually appealing for you. Make it represent who you are in your outfit. Okay, so 
it, I call it the rule of opposites. I'm really good with names. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so gifted when it comes to naming things. Uh, there's no other way, no term I could come up with for this, but the rule of opposites, because that's kind of the way I look at it. Like you're looking at what is inherent in an outfit and then how you can add something that's opposite to that to balance out the outfit. So for example, if you are wearing an all neutral outfit, you can, you know, you could say, okay, well, this outfit is all neutral and maybe you love it and it's got interesting details and interesting shapes and it comes to life on its own for other reasons. Or maybe you find that it falls a little flat. And if you find that it falls a little flat, consider adding color. Now, adding a pop of color used to be the go-to solution for every boring outfit. And I would say we want to approach it with caution and we want to update the way that we do this. Yeah, I still absolutely love to add color, but I, I am more often a color with color person or a neutral with neutral person. But every now and then, a neutral outfit just feels like it needs a little bit of something and I will add color. So this neutral suit with a hot pink sweater is a really fun kind of unexpected way to add a pop of color. Of course, you can do a bag, you can do a pair of shoes, you can do an earring, you can do a lip or a nail color and, and add a pop of color that way. But adding color to all neutral outfits is one way that you can, you can add balance. So we're looking at, at going for the opposite. You've got a neutral outfit and a colorful outfit. So the outfit is all neutral, add something colorful. Vice versa also applies, right? The reverse also applies. So if you've got an all colorful outfit and you're like, this is just not coming together the way that I want it to come together. It's not working the way that I want it to work. Then consider adding a neutral element to ground it, to, to balance it, to make the pieces go together a little bit more harmoniously. Often, um, if for example, you're trying a color block look and say you have a hot pink sweater and orange pants and you're like ooh this is a little hard for me to swallow like i don't know if i can pull this off or maybe the 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 saturation levels of the colors aren't quite what you what you want them to be for it to like really really work for you like pairing that outfit with like a camel trench coat um, all of a sudden, that line of demarcation between the sweater and the pants is blurred a little and the outfit just kind of comes together a little bit more easily. So consider adding color to neutral outfits and adding neutrals to colorful outfits if you feel like something is missing and you want to, to, to tweak the outfit a little. The next um, balance and opposite pair I want to talk about is baggy versus fitted. Now, again, I'm going to go back to, we're going to see all baggy outfits that are going to be fabulous. Although I will say maybe a little harder to find flattering and, and you might need, you, you really are going to have to work on the flattery with an all baggy outfit, but there are some all baggy outfits that are going to be insanely chic. And then we're going to find fitted outfits that can also be really chic. But my rule of thumb always, I'm, I'm just going to go back to this because I've said it a million times before, is the in-between is generally the most flattering for most women. Tailored pieces that skim the body, that fit the body without clinging and without dwarfing us, without overwhelming us. But if you're wearing a baggy outfit or baggy um, piece, maybe it's a, ba it's a, maybe it's a, Bag, a baggy or bulky um, blazer. Maybe it's a loose fitting, very wide fitting pair of pants like we're seeing this season. It's all about the baggy jeans and all about the wide leg pants. The easiest way to wear that and the easiest way to balance that out is with a fitted top. So fitted with baggy works a lot better for most of us most of the time than baggy with baggy or fitted with fitted. So same way you're wearing a, like a really skin tight dress and you're like, oh, I'm kind of feeling a little overexposed in this dress. This is a little, maybe this feels a little too much or feels a little over the top, or maybe it just doesn't feel right for where you're going. Then throwing on like a cool completer piece like a, a blazer or like a trench coat over that dress can give you a little bit of coverage and, and, and tone the look down a little. So baggy with fitted is another pair of opposites that can really be tools that you use to build great outfits in your wardrobe. Okay, next um, is um, plain with embellished. So we're seeing embellished denim jackets this season. Oh my goodness, embellished denim jackets, like break out the bedazzler style denim jackets, like with actual crystals and sparkles on them. How do you wear an embellished jacket like that without it looking matronly or like you, you know, like you pulled it from your 80s stash or whatever? You do that by balancing it with something simple and something plain. So embellished and 
simple or embellished and plain are the two next two opposites I want to talk about. If you're going to wear a jewel encrusted denim jacket, maybe wear it with a really simple blouse and, and, and plain jeans or your, your, you know, your dark neutral pants and a tee or something like that to just um, balance out the embellishment of that outfit. And I feel like this one is, is, is one that's going to, I'm going to call more of a rule. I hate to say rule, but more of a rule than the others, because the risk over 40 of wearing embellished with embellished is that we end up looking like a, a little bit matronly or we look dated, right? So I feel like unless you're wearing really edgy pieces in a really edgy way and you're wearing embellished and embellished, and it's just very, very cool and funky, it, there's a risk of looking dated with these pieces. So, um, Pairing something embellished and a little over the top with something simpler and a little bit more plain is a great way to, to th those are opposites and it's a great way to balance those pieces. The reverse, of course, is also true. You've got a plain outfit. You're like, this is plain. I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans. It's so boring. What am I going to do with it? Like then adding an interesting piece, an embellished piece. That can be a cool embellished clutch. It can be one of the new um, chokers for the season or a great pair of earrings. It can be a jacket. It can be a belt. Um, but whatever you're, you add to it, adding something with a little pizzazz, something with a little bit of interest is really going to take those plain pieces and make them into outfits. So it's not like, oh, I just threw on a t-shirt and jeans because I didn't know what else to wear. It's okay. This is a look. This is an outfit. This is, this is cool. And it kind of brings it all together and makes it come to life. So that's my approach. The rule of opposites, um, pairing baggy with fitted, pairing plain with embellished, pairing, um, tight with, I already did that, tight, baggy with fitted, plain with embellished. What was the other one? Um, colorful with neutral. Yeah, colorful with neutral and and creating balance in the outfits that way. Let me know what you think of this concept. If this is something that you want to try with your outfits and if this can help you evaluate your outfits in, um, in a way that makes everything kind of easier when you're when you're trying to put together stylish outfits. As always, I love hanging out with you here. I'm so, so honored and blessed to be able to hang out with you on, on YouTube in 2023. Um, if you want to continue to see videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We have the best time over here. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this kind of video and would like to see more videos that simplify styling and simplify putting together outfits. Love you guys. I will see you in the next one.